Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Azure Striker Gunvolt. In the last episode we did take down the Media Tower and the Stratacombs, and my god that was a difficult stage. Well not really, I just made it difficult on myself for unnecessary reasons. But right now we're going to go ahead and take on the subaquatic base, and well, might as well just get on with it. <laughs> no real stalling for anything. Abyss, at the bottom of the sea awaits a cunning adversary, Marak, who forges deadly traps with the fabric of space itself. And actually, a fun fact, I guess, more like a, well, I, would, I mean, I'm going to call this a fun fact, but it's not really much of a fun fact, but Marak is actually what I had named my shiny totodile that I found in my heart, not heart gold, soul silver, I bought soul silver, in my soul silver game that I just got recently. Uh, Alright, but Sub Aquatic Base is... A pretty, I want to say, well, I want to say it's a tame stage, but it's really not. It's, it's a bit all over the place. Because you got spikes everywhere, and then, fun thing, portals that whisk you off to different locations. But realistically, all it is that's different is it just takes you to these pretty standard hallways with, filled with enemies. So as long as you're careful, you can take them down no problem. And get some decent triples out of it. Alright, now here I want to be careful because I know. Yep. I'm not gonna get hit by you. You out. And get the next one. Alright, let's make sure there's not any more because it's been a while since I've ran through this stage. It's like one of the first ones I beat with the S. Plus, so, even though I remember it quite well, it's, it's one of them that's just. A after going through so many other stages, it's just. I don't remember everything. <laughs> so I just want to be as careful as possible and keep these enemies away because they will take all your kudos and completely make and make you overheat, which is always annoying. Okay, gotta be careful because you are there and get in the elevator quickly and out quickly. Okay, now let me see. Hopefully, I can make it to this one. Nope. So used to having an air dash. Ooh, playing without it just isn't normal. Oh, that's always fun. Can't get in there because the elevator blocks the way and we can't get past the giant thing, but if we are very careful and get through here, or not, because there's a portal, which is what I was trying to avoid, but I did not. Dang it. Oh dear. Don't want to deal with that. Okay, there I'll go. You, twice, and get the double, and then take you out. And if you're careful, carefully watching, you can actually find this extra tag down here. It's hidden actually pretty well because of this skewed angle. But I want to backtrack a little bit. I remember there being something down here, but I don't want to like just jump and get hit. And that's exactly what I was worried about. Okay. Can I make it up there? No, I can't. Alright. Now, there's a hidden passage hidden through both of these, so you can't get through. One side, but the other is no big deal. Alright, let's go ahead and shoot that. Take you out quickly. Uh, again, this is something I'm so used to have air dash for, but I don't have it, so I gotta play without it. Ugh. I know if you're wondering why I'm complaining so much about not having an air dash, because I normally do all the challenges after I complete a stage, so I normally have like plenty of items, but I kinda just don't want to worry about challenges and oh Oh, I remember this part. <sighs> this is gonna be fun. All right, once we go through here, you want to be very fast and very aware because there's a jewel hidden in this area, and I honestly should have grabbed that checkpoint, but we're gonna risk it. But you really want to be paying attention. I'm not gonna worry about too much about them. Normally I would, but uh, I should have grabbed that checkpoint. Oh well. I'm gonna play like an idiot. All right, collect this. We get another tag, and then. Can get a triple on you if I'm careful, and boom, knock them out, and watch out for you, and run through here because dealing with them shutters is gonna just spell hell for you. And bombs. Yeah, that little timer guy is a bit of a nuisance because he's a bomb that can set off once you shoot it. So if you don't take him out quickly, then you're in trouble. And there's the jewel up there, so I want to deal with you. And then immediately target you. I don't care if I don't get the bonus. 
Okay, come on. Come. I hate these enemies. There we go. Oh dear, and water. One problem with the water is if you get submerged and then use your flash field, you instantly overheat. No matter how much EP you have left, and I can't really make that. Okay. Alright, we're in the clear. Okay. That was incredibly tense because I've never had the water on me that much before while still trying to, like, take out enemies. But, you know, I managed somehow. I call it my amazing reflexes, but that would be a total lie. I'm just going to say I got incredibly lucky. But at the same time, I don't know. I wouldn't really... Well, you know, I'm just going to stop talking about it because... Uh, again, take care of these enemies. One problem with this siren room actually is the siren, because it's below you, you can't hit it unless you just tar- no, you can't target it so you can't take it down quickly. So it's just faster to do with him. I almost landed directly on top of him. And that's it. Okay, the fact that I am not out of points right now and somehow have managed to keep them is both completely amazing, because it's been a while since I've done this stage like this, and also a god dang miracle. But I will, I will take that kind of a win, and just roll with it. But we got the boss coming up, so I'm going to hit the checkpoint and dive right in. And of course we get a portal taken to him, because why not? Ah, oh, come on, why are you still alive? I would have... Would it have killed you to just drown? Well, yes, it, it literally would have. I don't want to do any actual work. Are you the commanding officer here? Ugh, you're really gonna make me monologue, aren't you? Okay. I'm the mighty Marak, you've meddled for the last time, yada yada. Look, I just want to go play some realms of Robocraft. Sit still while I kill you. Pretty sure that's... A complete ripoff of WoW, <laughs> but hey, you know, can't can't brand stab. Why did I just say stab? I don't know. And if you remember what I mentioned at the start of this episode when I named my shiny total after this boot after this dude, you really didn't need to deep six my relax time. You know, just saying is honestly just because of the color scheme. And out of everyone, he's one of my favorite characters just because like. His tolerance for having to deal with this is just kind of funny, in my opinion. It's like... Do you have to do the actual work? You know... Oh dear. I am... Why am I doing, like, so little damage? I'm used to doing way more than this. Okay, got it. I mean, I can take them out with my flash field, but I'd rather not risk overheating in this fight. Okay. Alright. I haven't really been explaining his attacks much, have I? Well, now he's got his final attack, but he'll use portals to fire several barrages of missiles, and oh, that was close to the fight when I'd like it, and the... Uh, shoot, I can't hit him anymore. But he'll spawn several portals to shoot missiles at you, dive at you with his chair, and he'll also use portals to cause punches, but he can also do two huge punches that cover like half of the screen and if you don't get out of the way of those fast like one after the other you're gonna get hit mission complete honestly i could say half this game i only make it through because of the pervasion and not taking away my health and just my ep but you know makes it easier that way all right we got an s rank oh I'm like halfway to an S plus rank. I gotta say this pretty good. Tain the Mizuki? I don't know how to pronunciate that. And we also got a jewel. All right. Ooh, we got a cutscene. A figure watched from the shadows as Gunvolt left the scene. A figure reached down and retrieved a shard from where the last adept fell. Hmm. Another glaive sample. This makes the third. Glaives were a kind of vessel. Adepts who agreed to transplant their Septimosum into the glaive were guaranteed a high-ranking place in society. In return, Sumeragi gained control over the Adepts' volatile powers. A sword that can only be drawn by Sumeragi's behest. 
What good does a toy like this do anyway? A Rakshasha on a leash is a Rakshasha all the same, an enemy to humanity. But, but I, not the Supreme God, shall be the one to banish those demons. Their twisted blood must be purged by human hands. Well, I'm sure he's, you know, not going to be important later. Late one evening, after Jewel had gone to sleep, I was getting ready for bed myself when an SOS call came in. It was Maniqua. Gunvolt, do you read? Come on, pick up. Maniqua, I'm here. What's the matter? Do you know what time it is? Yes, I'm sorry. Something urgent came up. An adept were after just fled into your neighborhood. Xena was in pursuit, but it took a nasty hit. Sorry, Jeeves. Urgh, I got sloppy. Hey, are you alright? Hang in there. Xeno liked to kid around on the wire, but his skill on the field was no joke. An adept who dinged him up was clearly a cut above. Alright, I'm heading out. Thanks. Hey, promise you'll be careful. I will. Get that wound tended to. Ooh, are you going out? Said Jewel, her eyes straining to stay open. I must have woken her up. It's late, Jewel. You should go back to bed. No, that's okay. I'll stay awake until you get back from work. She was staring at me like I was the world's biggest hero. Fine, I'll try to make you quick. See you in a bit. See you soon, Gunfolk. I'll be singing for you. And now all the other stages are locked. Yay. So we can only do Sinistro. But I'm going to go ahead and just drop off the jewel with jewel. Because it's going to be important later. But no one knows how... Well, then again, um... You know, just kind of realizing what I mentioned in the first episode, people will probably know. I also realize I've not been going over the briefing of these stages, so... Yeah. Sorry to call you in short on short notice. We need you to hunt down that powerful adept who wounded Zeno. The target has been taking refuge in Sinner's Row. Be careful. I'll go ahead and look over the other ones before I call this one an episode. Just in case you guys are curious, but yeah. Kaleidoscope. Tonight the pleasure quarters belong to Zonda as Gunvolt chases the lustful menace down. Didn't get the rest of that. The target is a big ender adept that goes by the name Zonda. Xe leads a team of hunters. We tried engaging Zem, but Xe fled to the rooftops of Cinero. Be ready for the hunters, too. Zonda's men are loyal. Roger. I'll be beginning the search now. And actually going to something fun is, I don't read these all the time, but a little bit of something that I found funny because I've played the second game and know what is up is Moniqua in a small side conversation actually makes mention that they have no idea what gender Zonda is and you don't find that out in this game but it's kind of just like a funny bit of oh dear yeah I'd rather not get hit with a missile today thank you very much but it's just one of those tiny pieces of trivia from the second game that when I first saw it, I kind of just had had to laugh because it's like, you wouldn't expect to see it, but then you do, and it's like, oh, I didn't know they put that in. That's funny. Because on the, well, I'm going to go into explaining this, but on the 3DS, they don't have like the mini conversations. It's in the same mode that I'm playing right now without the Japanese stuff, but hey, I prefer it with, but playing it without because it makes a little... Oh, okay, that was almost a very long on my part. But time to explain the stage because I have been not doing that. Is, well, basically you're on rooftops, so falling to your death is very easy to do if you're not careful. But it's going to get a little bit more difficult later. And oh, I gotta watch out. Gotta remember I don't have air dashes, so I gotta be very careful when it comes to enemies. I should be able to take you guys out. And one shot. Okay, I'm gonna continue avoiding those. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Alright, come on. I'd like to get more points. Alright, and here's the problem is because of this guy that I was like, probably should hit a checkpoint. These guys are incredibly annoying. But that first one's fairly easy to dodge. Okay, don't hit me with a missile. I prefer not to hit. And wire strings! Once you tag them, they'll shoot out a wire once you shock them. You can drop down here. I almost fell off a ledge before I hit that jump. You can get another point. 
to get more materials, and I absolutely hate you. Okay. That was close. Alright, this one we can just safely drop down and get coins! Alright, I recommend standing here because if you get hit by those wires, you'll take damage, which I didn't know the first time I played this game, and it sucks when you have like a huge point bonus, and then it just kind of like gets ripped away because you're standing in front of a wire. I mean, it makes sense that it does damage, but when you're not paying attention, then it happens, and you just feel like the world's biggest idiot. So, yeah. Alright, we got the hex pile, so let's move on. Let's see, what, let's see what's going on. See if we can catch up to whoever we're looking for. Oh, that was close. Rather not hit that. Alright, we found him. Hmm, look at you. You're all boy, aren't you? That, that sentence makes no sense. And I hear you're a little bit of both. Eh. This is why I mentioned that, because I didn't know this, but it does say that. So, yeah. That's right, a plug for every socket and a socket for every plug. I should warn you, I'm carnal. I'm a carnivore. And, I'm, and right now, you're a dangly little piece of meat. Taking you for a tug is going to be fun. Wait, then why is he running? Get back here! Okay, well, things are about to get hectic. So, yeah! Oh dear. Ugh, oh, if you cannot block some of these attacks with your flash field, I would be screwed. About six different ways to Sunday. And here's where the fun starts. So now we get to go left instead of right, which doesn't make sense, but it does for this stage, so just stick with it. Eventually it'll... Uh, well, I've really got nothing. <laughs> Alright. Now, there is this path here, but don't take it. All it leads you to is into a base of enemies, which I'm not gonna bother with, because you have to fight them either way. Because there's this one up here, which you can jump into. Then, more enemies! And this is basically where the other one will lead you to. It's in a big room where you have to deal with multiple enemies, but I mean, you do it in both places anyway, so realistically, unless you're going for kudos, which doesn't really help. And, ooh, new skill. And I haven't been updating those. Now that I think about it. But... Actually, I think I can update them in the stage. But being dragged to a room where you have to deal with multiple enemies kind of isn't really much help, even if you're going for more kudos, because of the simple reason of, well, you have to beat stages within a certain amount of time, and if you don't meet that time requirement, you don't get a bonus, and if you don't get the bonus, then, well, spending that time was kind of pointless. So, that's the only reason why I'm not bothering with them, is because it's, it's nothing you haven't seen before. Right, now, there should be, yeah. Now there's one over here, but I'm sure you guys already seen it on the screen, is that there's this one down here, which is the one you want to go into. Alright, now if I can get up here, because I need to, there's a jewel in the stage too. You want to make sure to collect that! <sighs> okay. I almost had a mini heart attack, because I was not dying, but I didn't, so that's good. Okay. Can I just take both of you down before you shoot me? And be very careful not to land on an enemy. Alright, got the next one here. And yeah, this is just being upside down. Okay, I want to be careful that I don't land on you guys. Yeah, you gotta be careful, because I haven't explained these enemies too well, but depending on the color that they shoot, if it's blue, it'll try and follow you. Like, this one will shoot straight down after it finds me. And then the ones that shoot pink just shoot straight through. Or just straight. I don't know why I said through, but yeah. Honestly. Uh, oh, I didn't know there was a wire down here. I almost never like cross the bottom of these, but I'm still not going to. I'd rather just be careful, and that's why. Because there's an end to it. Oh, we got the hex pile. Yay! End of stage time. <laughs> Ugh, I hate being upside down because it really messes with you. Did I break the illusion? Gun bolt perret art ling da id in to red. It was all coming in static. Someone's jamming the frequency. Yag! That, that was no cry of ecstasy. Well, might as well go find out. 
Return to your true creator, you abomination. So hot inside me. Ah. This pain, exquisite. Yeah. Kill me just like that. Ah. I hate it when they just do that kind of stuff. Reprobate. Don't worry, your Septimosum will go to a cleaner cause. What's this guy's story? The Azure Striker. Thanks for the, uh, help. <laughs> you've got the wrong idea. I'm not your friend any more than I am Sumeragis. You're an adept, just let just one more blight to wipe from the earth. Huh? I swear I will end you right now. You know, I did say that that guy wasn't going to be important, didn't I? I lied. <laughs> this here is Copen. He is a fun character to fight. Not so much, but he has... He's got his gun, he's got his shield, and the funny thing about his shield is, as I'm sure you've already noticed, he copies the powers of, well, pretty much every boss that you fight. So because we had fought Yota, Marak, and Elise, he has those specific abilities. The lazy laser, the stone eye thing, which I really have no idea how you copy with technology, but, you know... I'm just gonna accept Strange Future World. Not even Future World, just like a different one compared to ours, so this is even possible. But for when he copies Yota's attacks, he'll do a quick laser and then. What was it? It was the laser and then the drill. I think it was the drill first, but I haven't. I really don't remember. Alright, come on. And a fun thing about Copen, at least right now, is he doesn't use a special attack. At least yet. I have the data I need. What you didn't spill in blood, you spilled in secrets. Your name, I deserve that. No, you don't. That's a human privilege. But when God next sends me to judge you, you'll hear him whisper, Copen. Whew. Mission cleared. Kind of funny how your friend who Gunvolt says is like second to none when it comes to his skills in the field. And then you just have like this random guy that comes out of nowhere and just completely kills him. It's kind of funny actually. <laughs> just like does it without any issue as far as I can tell. Oh, I didn't know you can get those in the stage. Neat. Anyway, got the next jewel. Yay! Alright. Meanwhile, on Sumeraki's orbital station, Firmament. Master Nova, Zonda's hunters have been decimated, sir. What? Grieves me to hear that deeply. Will Quill never stop? This wasn't Quill, sir. According to the survivors, Zonda was done in by a boy in white armor with a red trim. White armor with a cross. That's Dr. Kamazunos. Hmm. You know him? He's a small thing that knows how to make a big messes. But he's alone, and he has no septima. Leave him be. He'll burn up in the wake of his own vengeance soon enough. But, sir, he took down Zonda. THE Zonda! Nature's full of surprises. You don't need to be an adept to have a gift. If we're lucky, he and Quill will destroy each other and save us some work. Now, when are you going to deliver Lumen to me? We need her back. The venture cannot proceed without our shining star. Understood, sir. So yeah! That's going to be fun to deal with. And like with the rest of the stages, you can go back to Sinner's Row and take on the challenges for that. But I'm going to give Jewel the jewels. Because, yeah. Hang on, I think I already gave her the first one. So, yeah. But I'm going to see if I can send some gear before we end this off. It's kind of... Oh, we got the Naga Sight. Which slightly increases Naga Bolt Charge Time. Or decreases, not increases. My bad is you can charge the Naga to pass through multiple enemies, but I never use it, mostly because, well, I'm shooting enemies so quickly that it doesn't matter. And I still can't build anything. Usually if you can build something, it'll say okay right there on the right side, but I still can't make anything, so... Yeah. I honestly might do some challenges before I start the next recording, but that's gonna be it for this episode. In the next one, hopefully we can take down the next three, but I don't... well... Actually, with the stage is coming up. Anyway, well, we'll see what we can get to in the next episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.